carrying on from our, our long haul series of travel, uh, on this video is going to look at uh, jet lag and, and how I deal with that. So that's coming up right now. Okay, now that you've arrived at your destination, uh, depending on how far you traveled and uh, and there's different aspects, you can get jet lag and jet lag, uh, just a, sort of a cloudy sort of feeling. Even though I've rested, I've been resting for 22, 24 hours uh, when I arrive here. Uh, I'm awake, but I'm just kind of in a daze. Uh, don't suggest driving, although I, I always do that. I, it's only about a 12, 12 to 15 minute drive uh, to my house from the airport, but I really wouldn't want to plan on doing a lot of driving when I first get here because you're just, just a little bit cloudy. It depends on what time of day you arrive. In my situation on this trip, I arrived uh, uh, early afternoon, which is about ideal, so it gives me a chance to uh, get settled in, uh, unpack my bags, uh, get some supplies, and uh, just try to keep yourself up. Don't go straight to bed. Uh, you may feel quite tired, but I kept myself up till about 10, 11 o'clock, uh, at least seven. You want to stay up to at least seven uh, and try to get some sleep then. Just through the travel, you'll probably be tired enough to go to sleep. And set uh, set your alarm for uh, uh, seven, eight o'clock when to get up. You don't want to sleep all day, particularly that first morning because what, you'll just end up wasting days of your your trip and that jet lag goes on and on because you, you might go to sleep at three in the morning and then you'll sleep all through the next day and it takes a few days to get that sorted. But if you can keep yourself up to a normal sort of bedtime and then set your alarm, it's cr crucial to set your alarm because your body will just let you sleep. Now the next day, uh, feeling better, but still a bit cloudy, be a bit uh, careful with if you're uh, driving. If all possible, uh, don't do not do driving too much the next day either. But do your activities, get yourself settled in. In my case, I was organizing. I tried to use my bank card, but uh, it was activated, but malfunctioning and it was Mother's Day and we couldn't uh, get into the banks uh, over the weekend. So I had to wait till Monday. Luckily, my sister lent me some money to, so the bank card didn't work. To sort out my, my phone next, so I went to phone and I seen what options were available and I ended up getting a SIM card with an American number. I got that all sorted and I got a SIM card for my tablet for some internet connection as well if I need a hotspot along the way. Uh, I'll pop for my laptop and begin some essential shopping. Uh, this is time to look, and when you unpack your bags you realize there's stuff that you did forget so this is the time to do the shopping for that. So I spent the day, luckily my uh, sister was available that day and so it was lovely spending the day with her shopping. Uh, and getting all my supplies and visiting as well. Uh, so it was a, a really good day. And then that night, uh, her and my brother-in-law uh, stayed here at the cabin with me. Uh, unfortunately, we end up uh, talking till way hours of the night. And so the next day, even though I got up at normal time, I still was a bit tired. Uh, that probably would have been the best idea. Probably been better just to go to bed again at a normal time and get up at a normal time. But uh, the visit was well worth it. Following days, again, a lot of activities, met up with my dad and uh, found out I had a lot of jobs I had to sort out for him. And so we did that. And then uh, that night I had a good night's sleep for the next day. I found it was, it was great. Now, so it took me a few more days, particularly I stayed up late that night. If I hadn't have done that, uh, that's the best way to bounce back from your jet lag is uh, try to go to bed at a normal hour and to set your alarm and get yourself up at a normal time for that first day. And then after that, then you're off on your holidays. You make the most of the holidays. Uh, otherwise, you could try to get your body clock right. You'll be waking up in the middle of the, the night, wide awake, and during the day sleepy. And so uh, you do that for the first day, and you usually come right pretty quick. So that's the best advice I have for dealing with uh, jet lag. Well, I hope you found that helpful. And if you did, give me a thumbs up. And remember, you can follow me on my Facebook page, Your Journey Transitions, on um, my Twitter, on my Instagram and LinkedIn. And also keep an eye on my website, yourjourneytransitions.com. 
Uh, I'll post uh, some helpful documents and checklists and things along the way. I'm not quite sure when I'll get around to putting those up, but uh, keep an eye on that web center documents and uh, there might be some helpful things there for you as well. Most importantly, remember to share my channel and these videos uh, to anyone you know over 50, anyone that you would wish to have peace of mind in their retirement years. Until then, this is Rick Ward, your guide to the retirement stages, wishing you an extraordinary retirement. This is like a cocoon. What comes out of a cocoon? Butterflies. Are butterflies beautiful? Yes.